Welcome to the next World with Frontiers Early Access update. Meet the Corpus. In this video, we'll talk about the new Assassin Titan, a battle pass type system called the Supply Line, daily contracts, and destructibility updates on maps. I'm Zukata, creative director of World with Frontiers, and it's about time we meet the corporations. You've probably heard about Freecon for TiVo and human purity from the Tales from the Wild 10 articles. But from this update, you can feel their presence in the game. These corporate empires will bring you contracts and rewards. Let's talk about the supply line first. If you have played many other online games, this mechanic will sound familiar. The supply line is a type of battle pass that offers seasonal rewards. In War of its Frontiers, it functions as a special shop. Unlocking the supply line will require a purchase to get access to the current season's rewards. Once you have access to it, you'll start to receive a special currency with your usual battle rewards. You can spend that currency in the supply line to get new items, cosmetics, and other goods straight from the corporate warehouses. Best of all, players can decide which rewards to claim first. Each supply line will have several stages, and you'll be able to choose which rewards to pursue at each stage. Most new items will first appear in the supply line. This will be a great way to try out new tactics first and get ahead of the curve. All new items will also become available via regular account progression at a later date. By the way, having the latest gear isn't necessarily a path to victory in War of the Frontiers. You can watch more about our approach to player progression in this video right here. But in a nutshell, we design new items to be fresh and exciting ways to play the game, not as silver bullets. As we are still in early access, the supply line will be completely free for now. For now, we are actively testing progression and seeing what you think about it. Through contracts, you can now get additional rewards for destroying enemy robots, capturing beacons, winning battles, and generally doing your best as a pilot. Daily and weekly contracts will be your main source of the new currency for item upgrades. We call it Intel for now, but that name might change in the future. You'll still also need alloys to level up your gear, but getting past certain levels will now require Intel. In future updates, this will help us balance the game. We want to make sure that it's impossible to get fully maxed out gear without playing battles. You play to progress, simple as that. On the tactical side, we're still hard at work on maps. Starting with this update, we'll be testing new destructibility features for buildings and smaller structures. Explosions and shots now leave visible traces on certain buildings that remain until the end of the match. Smaller construction on the map will also realistically crumble under the weight of your robot. These features are still in development, so not all the buildings will be changed and interiors might look a bit sketchy for now. We'll keep working on the visuals and show you our progress in future updates. We've also made good progress on optimizing maps. You can expect a significant boost to FPS on most GPUs. The third Titan is ready to join the roster. Grim is the perfect chaser. What it lacks in durability, it makes up for in damage and speed. It can ensnare enemies and rip them apart with its special abilities. Grim is a good pick for aggressive gameplay or for when you need to take out the pesky opponent that keeps capping your beacons. As always, the full list of changes can be found on our website. We keep a detailed log of every update there, because there is only so much we can squeeze in one video. Read about the update, try out new features in-game, and tell us what you think over on Discord. Thanks again for joining us for early access. I'll see you on the Wild Time.